Hello Internet and welcome to this tutorial series on Shopify Hydrogen SEO. Today's video focus is on site ML, sitemap XML files and particularly how do we add millions of URLs to our sitemaps. Well, if you visit the Google documentation, you will see that you can only add at most 50,000 URLs per sitemap. Then how come we are trying to add millions of uh, sitemaps URLs into our sitemaps? Well, the answer is in sitemap index, right? So you can see here from the documentation itself, if you open this link, you land here. And this is where Google um, tells us how if we, are, if we exceed the limits of 50,000, then we need to split up a large sitemap into multiple sitemaps such that the new sitemap is below the size limit right so and then how what what are these the specific numbers for these limits okay so you can see that first of all each sitemap needs to have 50,000 at, at most euros and then each sitemap can have each sitemap index files okay can have at most 50,000 sitemaps okay so in a sitemap index, you can have 50,000 sitemaps, okay? And how many sitemap indices can we create? Well, Google says we can create 50,000 sitemap indices. So if that's not clear, I made this diagram here for you. So what the, the initial, where we were initially was this. Um, so we had just one sitemap pointing to a bunch of euros okay and at most we know that we can only have 50k so if you just have one sitemap like this without the sitemap index well well you're you're basically limited to 50,000 euros but if you add a sitemap index only one then you have 50k times 50k okay because within your sitemap index as google says here okay you can add 50,000 sitemaps okay within the sitemap index you can add 50,000 sitemaps so that's it here 50,000 sitemaps within a sitemap index and then you can even add more sitemap indices okay you can add all to 500 sitemap indices like google says here all right you can submit up to 500 um, sitemap indices and i will let you do the map so that's 500 times 50k times 50k so that's millions and millions and millions of pages that we can index so don't believe an SEO if they ever tell you that we can't um, index more than millions of pages okay more than 50k pages and a good example of a website that does this very well is upwork upwork.com so if you go on upwork.com slash sitemap.xml okay this is the file that you will that you will download and you can see here sitemap uh, Upwork ranks for tons and tons of keywords in multiple locations. So you can see they have their sitemap split into an index, like organized like this. They have a sitemap for the homepage, sitemap for the catalog services, catalog services search, catalog project one, catalog project two, and so on and so forth, right? So they have, they split their sitemap into multiple sections. And if you open one of these sections, then we start seeing the actual links okay the actual links to the services that they offer on upwork right so that's basically what we're going to try and do on this way on the on this uh, um, demo storefront obviously we don't have millions of pages but the, the, the implementation that we're going to do work the same so at the moment we just have this one sitemap okay it's not the sitemap index and we are dumping every link that we have inside of this single sitemap uh, uh, page then the goal for us now just to illust just for illustration purpose what i want to do is just like what site uh, upwork does okay so instead of having this one single sitemap i want to split i want to add a sitemap index and in the sitemap index i want one sitemap for the pages one sitemap for the collections and one sitemap for the products and this will give you an idea of um, how to do the very same thing in your uh, Shopify hydrogen storefront if you have millions and millions of products the, the core principle remain the same so to do that let me simply come here and i will duplicate this okay three times 
so one will be for the um, the the products okay so I've come here and I will do like this sitemap products products but XML very good the other one will be for the collections so I'm gonna place this like that sitemaps dot collections like that very quickly there will be some element of code duplication here but it's just to show you the uh, um, the process okay so pages like this all right and then i'm going to come here in the xml in the collections remember we had this loader here that was uh, this generate sitemap that will re that was returning both products collections and um, pages here well we just want to return the collections here okay so i'm going to remove this remove the products okay and i'm just returning the collections now right so let's do that like this and actually i can just do it like this now very uh, simple collections excellent and obviously we also want to save some unnecessary request here i just want to return the um collections i just want to make the correction the query to the collection so i'm going to remove all the queries i'm just going to remove the product query and the pages query hopefully i'm not making any mistake here i think i'm not so that's good okay so if i visit that page already it's going to give me the right the right thing okay so if i go let me quickly visit that page instead of sitemap i'm going to visit sitemap slash collections so if i do collections iphone i mean collections you see excellent now we have only the collections on this uh, sitemap here okay i'm going to do the same for products so let's go and do the same for the products pages let me come here um, I'm just gonna return the products like this okay I'm gonna remove collections and pages do the same thing here like that and then for URL I'm just gonna have products okay like that oops products very good and same thing for the query just want to query the, the products and not the collections and the pages I'm gonna remove the collections query and then I'm gonna remove the pages query like that excellent okay so if i visit that if i let me duplicate this quickly and then add products here okay excellent now we have only the products here there's no collection at all okay you see but only the products excellent so let's do finally the same thing for the pages okay let's come here all right so i'm gonna move this i'm just gonna return the pages and then i'm gonna clear the collections here like that and the product as well excellent okay excellent 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 now obviously i don't want to make the query if i'm not using it so i'm going to remove that and i'm going to remove that as well excellent okay so now let's visit that page let me duplicate this and visit pages okay remove that pages Excellent. Now we just have the pages that we want to index on our website. Okay. Now, obviously, the original sitemap still looks the same. Okay. It still looks like this. Obviously, we don't want that, right? Because if you are creating an index, we don't want to have the. We we want the index to reference the, the individual uh, sitemap. So let's do that. I'm just gonna come here in this Upwork thing. I'm just gonna grab this part here. Okay. Like this. Okay. and then only thing we have left to do is uh, return the right thing from um, from here we, we no longer need to make the query at all so let me clear out this query we don't need this anymore okay we don't need this anymore either okay we don't need this anymore either all we need now uh, generate sitemap and so on is simply um actually we're just going to return the string okay so we just all we need to do is return the string and that'll be it pretty much okay so let's do that here a sitemap like that okay and within that sitemap i'm going to uh return let's see let's see here gonna grab this as well close this the closing sitemap tag okay and i'm gonna grab open it back to grab one of the sitemap locks 
grab that okay and then i'm gonna add this three times one for each of the three side maps that we have just added okay so let's do that do this like that let's put that inside like this and i'm gonna that's the first one and i'm gonna grab the um the link here this local host maybe around we do it like this actually side map collections okay um, right so let's do that i'm gonna do url here like this url that and then slash this okay collections slash collections and then i need this url obviously here so this url i think this is this url Add it here like that base euro excellent and then i'm going to do the same thing for the collection the products and the collections and the um, actual pages so i'm going to remove here products that okay and then finally pages excellent okay so i can remove everything that's here like that i don't need that anymore okay i'm making that query anymore so that's it the base euro is the only thing we need i don't need this anymore here uh neither do i need to make the query to the store front api anymore okay so that's pretty much it close like this here generate sitemap the base url okay and remove this base url that's the only thing we need now i think that's it uh remove the data obviously don't need that here anymore okay and this should work from here let me see let me remove the context i don't need that base your own uh why is it complaining here let me see request of origin base your it is declare oh yeah sorry i need to remove it from here as well excellent now this should work okay this should work excellent let me see let's visit the page again okay so if we visit the original sitemap page let's see what we have here okay 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 two lines error xml declaration allowed only at the start of the document only at the start of the document below this page contains our line two okay the, the second line of our xml is not correct so let's see what is wrong with it um okay 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 let's see what is wrong here second line let's see i think it's not happy that we added this letter. Yeah, like that i think this is how it should be okay if we come back here and we refresh excellent now it's now it works you see now we have a great sitemap index okay that is pointing to individual sitemaps as you can see here and each individual sitemap okay each individual sitemap is pointing to um the links that are relevant for that particular sitemap and that's basically how by following this pattern of adding a sitemap index and inside adding your sitemaps and then inside of each adding the specific urls that are relevant for that collection you can have you can index millions and millions and millions of pages i hope you found this video useful if you did please give it a thumbs up my name is junior from the lifted commerce team and i hope to see you in the next one cheers bye bye